In the ever-evolving world of web design, it can be crucial in picking the right tool for the right job when it comes to actually building your website in the first place. Because of this, there have been so many competitors come onto the market in the recent years, and it can be very difficult to choose which website building tool is right for you. Because of this, we've created tons of different videos comparing website design tools against each other, figuring out which is the best based on their price, ease of use, technology, design, and of course, how you can utilize them. In today's video, we're going to be comparing Webflow, which is a super popular website design tool versus Framer, which is another incredibly popular web design tool. Both of these platforms have their advantages and disadvantages. And in today's video, we're going to give you everything you need to know about both of them. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear idea of which of these two products is right for you and which one is right for your website building journey. We'll also be showing you how to get access to the best deals, discounts, and coupons available for both of these services. So make sure to watch to the very end of this video. Other than that, though, let's start with our very first contender, which is Webflow. When it comes to no code website builders, Webflow stands out on top. This is a web design tool that has become increasingly popular with web design agencies, website companies, and of course, even freelancers who are just trying to get their name out there by building their first official website for a portfolio or even a business website. This is a fully functional drag and drop website design technology. And one of the things that Webflow prides itself on is its no code features. What this means is that you can basically design certain elements of your website to look and feel that much more premium, almost as if you actually had injected real code into it without ever having to know how to code in the first place. These features give a sleek look to your overall website and can make the overall experience of users coming to your website feel that much more premium. And when we do this and create experiences like this, people are much more likely to stay on our website longer and actually look into whatever it is we're offering. Whether that's a product, a service, a business opportunity, or whatever that might be, people are just that much more likely to actually give us a chance. Webflow is a great website design tool no matter where you're getting started and no matter what line of business you're in. They have all kinds of different options for people who are freelancers, agencies, business startups, full working enterprises, and even teachers inside of classrooms can utilize this tool. If you're also just getting started with web design and you don't really know what you're doing, Webflow has you fully covered. They have an entire template library that allows you to see other templates that are super well made and have a premium feel to them. You can simply select one of these templates and edit it on the fly with little to no friction. There's also a community resource or it's a marketplace where you can pick a bunch of different plugins and different features that you can add into your own Webflow website. Not only that, but Webflow also gives you the opportunity to hire a full website design expert when building your website in the first place. This means you can literally work one-on-one -on -one with another person who is actually an expert at this and they can help you build out your website and make it look amazing. Now that we've talked a bit about Webflow's features, let's actually show you guys how to get started with Webflow and get the best deal possible. The first thing you wanna do is head down to the description of the YouTube video and click the link for Webflow. Webflow. Once you click that link, you'll then be taken to a page that looks like this. This is Webflow's homepage, and this is where you can see a lot of the features and products that they offer. I'm first going to show you the pricing for Webflow, and then I'll show you guys a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to actually create an account with Webflow. To look at the pricing, we're simply going to go up here and click this pricing option. As you can see here, Webflow has quite a few plans at their disposal, and everything is super flexible. If we scroll down here, as you can see, their starter plan is actually completely free to use, meaning you don't have to put a credit card in, and you can literally make an account and start using Webflow today. As you can see, for most of the options that you'll have here, you have two pages on access for the free plan. You'll get 50 CMS items. You'll get 50 form submissions, free localization preview. And as far as the traffic limits go, you'll get one gigabit of bandwidth plus 1,000 visitors at any given time. These are pretty solid options considering the fact that this is completely free to start using. When we look at the basic plan, we're looking at about $14 a month. And again, this is going to give us everything we got with the free plan with some major benefits. The first major benefit is that instead of just two website pages, you're going to get 150 pages with the basic plan. Not only that, but you'll also get over 500 form submissions. You'll also get free preview plus the localization add-on. And for traffic here, you're going to be looking at about 50 gigabits of bandwidth and 250k visitors at any given time. This is a pretty big step up from the free plan. And this is probably the website you're going to want to go with if you're just getting started. We can also look at the other plans here, the CMS plan and the business plan, which are $23 a month and $39 a month, respectively. Again, you'll get everything you get in the basic plan plus some major upgrades for these plans. For the CMS plan, we're looking at even more traffic options with over 200 gigabits of bandwidth and 250k visitors. And for the business plan, we're looking at 400 gigabits of bandwidth and over 300k visitors. Plus, you'll get 150 pages for each of these plans and a whole host of CMS items as well as content editors, more seats, and just in general, more options to edit your website in the first place. Now, if you're a super large corporation or business and you want even more accessibility and more options, you can do the contact 
select this option for their enterprise plan. This is likely going to be in the thousands of dollars per month just to give you guys a quick update. More than likely, this is only for really large businesses and this is probably around the thousand dollar per month range. This is going to be completely custom tailored depending on the needs of your business and you basically have to get on a sales call with someone and figure out what your needs are for your large corporation or business. I'm gonna go with the CMS plan here, which is $23 a month, which is billed yearly. Also, real quick note, you do actually save quite a bit of money by going with a yearly option. This is what we always recommend you guys doing because that's how you're gonna save a quite a bit of money up front. Once you've decided on the plan you wanna go with, you're then gonna go down here and hit the add site plan button. Once I've done that, it's then going to ask me to create a quick account and we'll go through the entire process. If you guys wanna get started for completely free, you can also hit the free plan and hit the start for free button. Once you've done that, you'll then enter in your email address and create a quick password. Once you guys have created an account, you'll then be taken directly into Webflow's website editor. Inside of this website editor, you're gonna give a couple of pieces of information, things like your first name, your last name, the type of business you're trying to grade, and it will even ask you whether or not you want an expert to work alongside you when building this website. Once you've entered in all that information, you'll then be taken to a loading screen and then be loaded in fully into your website. As you can see, it will take me through a quick tutorial if I'd like, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna hit the exit button. As you can see, the first question it'll ask you before you start building is whether or not you wanna start from a completely blank site or a template. For the sake of this video, I'm gonna start from a template because they have a ton of great templates to choose from. Any of these templates will work. I'm gonna go with the momentum template and hit select. Once I've selected this template, it will then load for a short amount of time and then it will give us a fully functional website that we can start editing on the go. And boom, it's as easy as that. This is the template that we just picked. And as you can see, to edit any of this, it's super easy and intuitive. Let's say I wanted to edit the title of this website. All I simply have to do is double click this and I can type away inside of this text box and make it say whatever I would like to say, something like that. I could also drag any of these elements around on the website, repositioning them and putting them in a different place that I would want them to be. As you can see, I just changed the entire format of the website. And if I want to make any changes or fix any of this, I simply hit the command Z option. On the right side here is going to be how you edit a lot of the finite details, things like your text, the font itself, and a host of other things like the overall positioning and alignment of the text. On the left side here, we also have the option to add different elements, things like containers, sections, quick stacks, and a host of other visual imagery that we can add to actually start building the components of our website. In general, guys, this is a super easy to use intuitive system. And as you can see on this website, again, it's very easy to utilize and very easy to edit. That's pretty much everything you need to know about Webflow, but let's talk about its direct competitor, Framer. When it comes to overall website builders, Framer is another intuitive, easy to use website builder. To get started with Framer, make sure you use the link down in the description of this YouTube video and you'll be taken to a page that looks like this. This is Framer's website and as you can see, they have a host of different features and resources at your disposal. When it comes to features, they have a really intuitive layout option. They have their CMS, which is a great way to scale your content. They have different high fidelity animations that you can utilize on your website and a host of other features that are super useful, including an AI feature where you can enhance certain aspects of your website. Now you can actually start with Framer just like Webflow for completely free, but let's go over the pricing options. Like we said in the beginning that you can actually get started with Framer for completely free. This is great for any hobby sites. You can also get a Framer domain and you also get a Framer banner. When we go to the $5 plan, which is called their mini plan, this is a per site per month plan and you're getting simple sites, a custom domain, home and 404 pages, as well as a thousand visitors a month. For their basic plan, we're looking at about $15 per month. And this is for personal sites, 150 pages on here, password protected. You get CMS collection, 10,000 visitors a month, and of course, 10 page searches as well. When we go up here to their pro plan, which is their pretty much most expensive plan, we're looking at about $30. And again, that's gonna be for larger sites, 300 pages, analytics and cookies are included, plus a staging environment and a host of other features. Now do keep in mind when I'm looking at these prices, we do have the annual discount feature enabled, which we can actually toggle off here with this little button right here. Once we toggle that off, all of these prices will change and they will raise a little bit because we are saving a bit of money by going with the annual option. Like I said in the beginning of this video, we always recommend you guys go with the annual option because that's gonna be the way you save the most amount of money up front on a lot of these plans. It's more than likely assume that you're gonna have your website for more than a year and it's more than likely easy to assume that you're going to actually utilize this for a long time. Plus, who doesn't like saving money? Now, for the sake of this video, I wanna show you how Framer actually works. So we're gonna use the free plan. To actually get started with the free plan, head down here to where it says get started and hit that button. Once we hit the get started plan, we can either then create an account with Google or continue with an email. We simply then enter in our email and hit the continue option. It'll then ask us to check our inbox to make sure that we have a verified email. Once you've checked your inbox and click the activation link, you'll then be taken to the create account page where you enter in your first name, your last name, and you'll have your email again. And then you just have to agree to their terms and service. Once you've done all of that, you'll then hit the continue button. After you hit the continue button, it'll then do a short loading screen and then should take you right into their website editor. As you can 
see we're now immediately dropped into their website editor and it is super easy and intuitive to use. No complicated buttons, everything is easily laid out and pretty easy to understand. As you can see, this is our desktop option here and if I wanna add things to this, I simply can click this, head over to the left here and hit the plus icon next to the pages. I then can create a new page, a new CMS page or any of these other pages. To actually add even more features to the website, I can then head over to the layout option up here and add things like rows, columns, frames and grids. I can also add images and videos and all of this is directly drag and drop. And again, this is pretty intuitive to use. It doesn't really take much of experience with web design to actually know how to use framer systems. Now that we've gone over both of these website design tools, which do I think is the better option? In my opinion, it seems that Webflow has just so many features to choose from. They also have a great pricing structure and they have a really solid option if you're just getting started with web design or if you're a moderate to novice level designer. If you're somebody who's never designed a website before, it seems like Framer might be the better option for that. Given it's really intuitive interface and the easy drag and drop tools that it has, it's really beginner friendly. Webflow is just that better option if you're a novice to more advanced website designer. Both of these are incredibly solid options though, and it just really depends on where you're at in your personal journey as well as your overall budget. Both of these are free to get started with, which you can do so with the link down in the description. So make sure to use that link to get the best deal. Also remember those are affiliate links and we do earn a small commission from each sign up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you guys in future videos. Make sure to like the video and subscribe so you never miss any of our new videos and I'll see you guys in the next one.